Today we are going to transform our closets from this disaster to this functionally organized closet for only $200. If you want to see how we did it, keep on watching. Good afternoon, welcome back to our channel. Um, today, we are doing another DIY. We are tackling something huge. We are tackling our closet. So, we have two bedrooms in our house and the master bedroom has two separate closets instead of one big closet, which doesn't really make any sense, but that's what we've got. And we have very, very poorly used the space since we moved in. I'm honestly embarrassed to show you, but we are going to install a closet system in both closets and transform this whole thing. And we're gonna do it for a very low cost. So first, let's start with showing you the before. I mean, honestly, we've just thrown everything in here. We have pillows, purses, dress clothes, this giant mirror, duvets. I mean, we just throw anything in here because, I mean, you can only fit so many things on that rack. It just like was a poor thing, all right? And then this is our other closet. You have this really awkward space here. And then our second closet, it's slightly more organized. We have our towels, our safe, I mean, it just like is not a good look. I'm honestly embarrassed. I spent all my time organizing, but this, you know, is a disaster. So we are going to transform this into something amazing. The first thing we did was remove everything from the closet. We wanted to start with a perfectly clean slate. There was so much dust in the closet, so we vacuumed and swiffered. Next, we had to remove the pre-existing shelves. Unfortunately, these shelves left huge holes in the closet, but otherwise it was a pretty easy task. Okay, so now I just want to show you the drawers we decided to go with. They're all from Ikea. Um, we are doing both closets, so we have quite a few um, shelves. So these are all shelves. And then down here are all the brackets that you mount with. This is all the stuff we are donating. We actually went through all of our stuff during this process. I'm also working on our entry table thing. It's coming along. But yeah, these are the things that we're going to use. Some of them are a little more shallow for um, shoes and stuff, and then these are for clothes. I'm gonna get some cute baskets and stuff. Next, I measured where each shelf track would be mounted. This was a very slow, but very important process. Okay, so I have done the measurements for either side. So now we're going to put in the first pole with, <laughs> with the drill and see how it goes. It turned out that we had a sheet of metal behind our drywall. This required an extra trip to Home Depot that we were not happy about. Once we were home, we finished installing the shelf track. This required a lot of measuring, movement, and frustration. So we're doing small ones up here and a big one to hang our clothes. So I'm just counting the distance between them and I'm gonna do it. So what I'm gonna do. You squeezing it? it? Nice. Ah! Oh no. There you go. I want a divorce, but we did it. Last step is you snap these brackets on. It took me 15 minutes to figure out this one goes in the back. I was gonna give up, I was gonna move. But you just put that back there. And you snap them in. Okay, so this is the test. After three hours, an extra trip to Home Depot, we're gonna see if this is level. Please, let it be level. Hold on. After we got home from the container store, we tackled the second closet, which was way more difficult. I don't really know why, but it took us about three hours to get the shelf track up, but we loved how it turned out. The last major step was putting the shelves on the brackets. Um, just follow the IKEA directions is the best thing that I could say. It's pretty easy. We chose to DIY this because systems like this can cost upwards of $1,000 and honestly it wasn't worth the investment for us. The Algot system turned out to be a great in-between of wire shelving and wooden shelving. The aesthetic really works for us and it was extremely affordable. Okay, so our shelves are finally done. We're actually not going to patch the few holes that you see just because our clothes are going to cover them and it doesn't really matter that much to us, but that's what you would do at this step and that's what you're excited about. But now I'm going to light in there. So we don't have any expense, like, um, electric sockets in here. So I found these cool battery powered lights from Home Depot. They have a nice 
white light. And for six of them, it's $30 and they come with batteries. So I'm gonna install them. Look at this, I already did one. It's amazing. It comes with this cool remote. Check this out. Isn't that so good? So I'm gonna put those up all around and that should really help us uh, brighten our closet and be able to finally see our clothes. For now, we have to turn on our bathroom light and all three lights so if one of us gets up before the other, no one ever gets to sleep in. So this is gonna be exciting. this side and that side. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some clothes in here, put some bins in here, get things nice and organized. So when I tell you we looked everywhere for baskets, we did. We went at home, TJ Maxx, everywhere, and we actually ended up getting things at the Container Store. You might think that Container Store is too expensive, and generally I agree with you, but they had some great sales, and because it's my birthday month, I got 15% off. So before I give you the long spiel, I'm gonna say about the Container Store, if you sign up for their rewards program, you get an automatic 15% off, which is a lot of money off, and they also have really good sales. So you just have to kind of scour through there, keep up to date with what's going on. But we were able to get these really cute gray baskets. They have a nice lining in them. Um, I, we saw these at At Home, and they were like $34 a piece, and these were $22. They were half off, is that how much they were? They were half off, and we really liked them. So we got large ones, and we got small ones in here. And yeah, that's it. And then we got some hangers from Marshalls, they were $9.99 for 25 um, plush or what do they call velvet. velvet hangers. So we're gonna put all of our clothes on there and then we should be done. So we actually bought our bins yesterday at the container store. We got blue bins and decided that we didn't like them. And the really good thing about the container store is they have a 120 day return policy. So we just walked in there, we actually did need a receipt since we're a part of the program. They type in your number and you can get things back up to 120 days. Once I had bins once for literally like 119 days and I took them back because I decided I didn't like them. Okay, so after three days of really hard work, we are finally done. Before I show you the finished product, I just want to remind you to subscribe to ANK. Please like and share this video. But now, here's the reveal. These units look so high-end, are extremely sturdy, and hold all of our clothes and linens. As you can see, the lighting even works well in the dark for those early mornings. If you want to see more content like this, please let us know in the comments below. I will link everything we use in the description box. Remember to subscribe to ANK, and thanks for watching.